How many times do you wash your car in a year? Once a month, once in three months, or at least once a year? Most of us find this job a little tiresome. Do you know how massive aircraft carriers are cleaned? That is also underwater. In today's video, we'll find facts about the multi-billion aircraft in its cleaning process. Before starting, make sure you've subscribed to our channel. Click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our further notifications. It's not as difficult as cleaning your car, mates. The aircraft carriers are one of the most significant warships used to transport aircraft via sea. As the Air Force is one of the most important defense branches of a nation's security force, these most multifunctional and technologically excellent Sea Wonders carry almost 90% of their spare parts, fuel tanks, and other necessities. It also has an engine testing area inside, where the crew members ensure the engines are working well before it flies in the air. If everything works properly, the aircraft will get the green flag for flying. They are built with high-speed aluminum lifts that can lift 200,000 pounds of aircraft and heavy loads of other essential equipment. The United States of America has the most aircraft carriers in the world, 11 of which are under their wings. The estimated cost of an aircraft carrier is around $13 billion. They can carry up to a weight of 99 million kilograms and still float on water. These floating cities reside more than 3,000 people who work at various departments within the ship. The ship includes a kitchen, general store, laundry, barbershop, post office, emergency medical centers, and others necessary when one is on voyage of more than nine months. Do you know that the USS Gerald R. Ford is the biggest aircraft carrier in the world? It is 1,106 feet long and can carry over 4,500 crew on board. The glorifying beauty of the U.S. is the most expensive and most powerful warship ever built in history. It carries various surface-to-air missiles, M2 machine guns, and other deadly war weapons. Cleaning these giant ships is a huge task for keeping their function in check. This is an expensive, time-consuming process and demands a lot of labor. During their yearly general maintenance, they are usually put in the dry docks for a third cleaning. It usually costs $1.2 to $1.6 million to put one of these in dry docks and weeks to finish cleaning it up, ready to sail again. Cleaning the ship hose is very important when it comes to its maintenance, and the advised number of cleaning on hose in a year by the U.S. Navy is three. There is a high probability that sea creatures like barnacles and worms accumulate in the submerged part of the ship. How unwanted plants, algae, Small sea creatures or microorganisms build up on the ship's surfaces and ship hose can be termed epibiosis. These fouling entities attach to several surfaces like propellers, rudders, inlet and outlet ports, and protective grills. This accumulated waste can debase the metal structures and paint. It also increases the weight and drag of the ship. This will eventually affect fuel efficiency and will also harm the environment as cleaning the ships in dry dock seems to face losses. The decision to clean them while they're still in the sea seemed like a great idea. Some specialized divers are assigned to clean these gigantic structures and eliminate the unwanted biological waste from their surface underneath. They are provided with specialized apparatuses to finish the work. This process is therefore called ship husbandry. The divers work in a very dangerous environment where they have to work long hours in the dark in oily waters. They must work alone beneath the dock harbors and holes of these mighty ships. The divers' chances of facing a big problem are very high in this condition, as there is no direct way to the surface from beneath the holes. If the waves retreat and the ship slumps, these brave divers are provided with regularly used conventional air tanks and a fixed hose system for safety. Sometimes there is a need to dive deeper into the water to clean some parts of the hole, much larger than normal diving depths. That is when the role of saturation divers comes into play. We can agree that their job takes place in an entirely different world. They work in a chamber that is 15 to 20 feet long, whose pressure is adjusted to match the surrounding conditions beneath the depths of water. The chamber is furnished with two bunks on top and bottom, with a pathway in between. The divers may have to live there for up to 28 days. 
breathing a mixture of helium and oxygen provided in the air tanks. They usually work in teams of two to three men, taking shifts of six hours to clean before they return to the chamber as the next team takes over the duty. These divers are found to go through many medical and psychological effects due to long spending time inside the chambers. They are most commonly affected by a gradual decrease in lung function and infections such as skin rashes, otitis externa, and athlete's foot. As technology grows, many efficient minds have come up with innovative ideas to make cleaning much easier and safer for divers. Now most of the work that humans earlier did is completed using the help of automated machines. Even though these inventories are eco-friendly, cleaning the ship's surface will release some harmful components into the water. They will have an undesirable impact on the sea and the organisms, altering their normal environment. When the ship holes are cleaned, a certain amount of copper and zinc is released into the water which degrades the water quality. Drones are modern ship cleaning equipment used for efficient cleaning purposes. They won't pollute the harbors and docks and make sure not to damage the outer layer. They suck up the unwanted organisms accumulated on the surface with the help of powerful suction. Large brush devices are used when the surface is to be cleaned flat. The best option for cleaning a propeller is a smaller brush. Propellers are likely to be cleaned six times a year. Many brush options are available in large rotary brush devices, such as single brush, double brush, or mini brushes powered by hydraulic motors. These motors help to rotate the brushes, helping to absorb the dirt resulting in a well-organized cleaning. Divers can change the pace and direction of the machines. Similarly, concentrated and powerful water jets are used instead of harsh scrubbing and cleaning. Robots also do the deep sea activities done by saturation divers now. They eliminate the chances of danger and errors during cleaning activities and the inability of humans to survive underwater for a long time. These gadgets are handled by well-trained people who have a clear knowledge of the marine ecosystem. These are controlled within the safe areas of the ship's surface, whereas the robots do their jobs in depths that are beyond humans' reach. Even though there is a danger in doing this job, underwater hole cleaning is essential to ensure the giants on the water are in their best condition for voyages. There is no way one has thought of cleaning at this range, a cleaning process that can even cost your life. The real effort and hard work behind these jobs often go unnoticed. The divers who risk their life to clean the ship holes are to be appreciated beyond words. It's a work of great danger, but still one has to be done, as, in a growing world, the aircraft carrier has a major role in the defensive strategy of the nation. There are thousands of crew on each of these vessels, which helps them stay afloat. Appreciating their work, we have reached the end of this video. Comment down your views on this job in the video. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. We'll be back soon with yet another intriguing video for you. Bye.